Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and welcome. So I hope y'all had a great holiday season and a fantastic new year. I always like to kick the new year off with a brand new healthy meal prep video for y'all. And that's what I have for you today. Now, as always, this healthy meal prep is for a full five day work week and it includes breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Now I did design this week's menu specifically for weight loss, but if your goal this year is just to start eating more healthy and not necessarily to lose weight, you can still use this menu because the recipes are filled with lots of healthy, nutritious foods. But what I would suggest is maybe doubling some of the recipes and portion sizes, and that way you're not in a calorie deficit. And speaking of calories, I've listed the full daily macro count for this menu over on the dedicated blog post. And I've also listed the macros for each individual recipe that you see in today's video. So for those of you that like to have more variety throughout the week, feel free to mix and match any of the recipes from my previous healthy meal preps and you can just sort of build your own menu to fit your preferences. All of the recipes on this week's menu are gluten-free and dairy-free. For breakfast, we're making my carrot apple cinnamon muffins along with my maple berry turkey breakfast sausage, and both of these are to die for. So good. For lunch, we're having these roasted veggie and chicken power bowls. These are loaded with nutrient-dense foods, fiber, and protein, so they're gonna keep you full and energized all afternoon. For dinner, we're prepping this loaded grain-free hamburger soup and I've been on a soup kick lately I have to say this is in my top five favorite soup recipes and lastly we're keeping the snacks simple this week with these frozen yogurt dipped blueberries and as always you can print off today's full menu over on the dedicated blog post and as with all of my five-day meal preps I've also created a free downloadable grocery shopping list for this week's menu just to make your life easier so I'm gonna have all those links for y'all in the description box below but anyway my mouth is already watering so let's head to the kitchen and get started all right let's get the breakfast muffins started first so we can go ahead and get those into the oven and these are so easy to make so in a mixing bowl add in 150 grams of banana which is about one and a half bananas and if you can try to wait until the bananas are more ripe with spots than what I have here I was on a bit of a time crunch to get this video filmed for y'all but surprisingly they still turned out super delicious anyway go ahead and mash that banana up with a fork and then go in with an immersion blender to puree it now let's add in all the wet ingredients first starting with two eggs, one fourth cup of unsweetened applesauce, one tablespoon of avocado oil or melted coconut oil, and one tablespoon of raw honey. Whisk that up until it's fully combined. And now let's add in the dry ingredients, starting with one and a half cups of almond flour, two teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, and a pinch of sea salt. Whisk it again until everything is fully mixed together. And now I'm gonna add in half a heaping cup of grated carrots and half a heaping cup of grated apple. Now my favorite way to grate them is with my food processor. I just remove the S blade and put in the grater tool and then run them through the chute of the food processor. I just find that this is the quickest way to grate them, but of course you can also use a box grater. Now let's gently fold those into the mixture until they're fully incorporated. And now it's time to fill our muffin cups. With this recipe, I do recommend using muffin liners because it makes it a lot easier to remove them from the pan. Personally, I like the silicone muffin liners, but of course you can also use the regular paper liners. And just fill those up to about three fourths of the way full. And feel free to add in things like chopped nuts, seeds, and chocolate chips, but keep in mind that it will add to the total calorie count. All right, let's bake these at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes. And while those are baking, let's prep the maple berry turkey sausage. I have shared these with y'all before, and there's a reason that they stay on repeat with my meal preps, because they are so dang good. In a mixing bowl, add in one pound of ground turkey. You can also use ground chicken, along with one tablespoon of maple syrup, one teaspoon each of sea salt and garlic powder, and half a teaspoon each of paprika, dried sage, dried thyme, onion powder, black pepper, and red pepper flakes. With breakfast sausage, it is all about those seasonings. All right, let's mix all that up until the seasonings are fully incorporated into the turkey. And by the way, when working with leaner meats like ground turkey or ground chicken, wet your hands first, and that's gonna help to keep the meat from sticking to them. And now I'm just folding in half a cup of fresh blueberries. You can also use frozen blueberries. 
Let's separate the mixture into roughly 10 equal parts and then form each part into a patty. I like to sort of mash the mixture together first, then roll it into a ball and then flatten them into a patty. It's time to cook them up. So in a skillet over medium heat, add in one tablespoon of avocado or coconut oil, and you're just gonna cook those patties on each side until they're fully cooked through. And I like to add a lid to sort of trap in the steam. I find that this helps to keep the turkey extra moist, which is important because with leaner meats, they do tend to dry out pretty quick. Going back to check on the muffins, once those are done, let them cool for about 10 minutes before removing them from the liners. And now it's time to assemble our meal prep containers. I'm adding two of the muffins to each container, along with two of the turkey sausage patties. And this is optional, but I'm also going to add in some grapes, just to sneak in some extra fiber, nutrients, and antioxidants. Of course, you can do any fruit or you can leave it out altogether. And just that fast, breakfast meal prep is done. Not only is this breakfast super delicious, but it's filled with healthy fats and proteins, so it's also going to help to keep you full all morning long. Next up, let's prep our lunch, which is going to be these roasted veggie and chicken power bowls. And with this one, it's all about prepping it in layers. So let's get our vegetables in the oven first, starting with the sweet potatoes. You'll want to peel and chop those into about one inch cubes. And I just love these power bowls because they're an easy and delicious way to sneak in extra vegetables into your daily diet. And there's just something about roasted vegetables that add that extra layer of hard and flavor to any recipe. Plus they're very filling. You're gonna need three cups of the cubed sweet potatoes. Let's also peel and chop some beets. Now, if you're not a fan of beets, you can substitute them in this recipe with zucchini, cauliflower, parsnips, or turnips. But beets are one of my favorite superfoods because they're loaded with antioxidants and nutrients. They can help to fight inflammation and they can even help to boost your energy levels thanks to their naturally occurring nitrates. You're gonna need two cups of the beets and then we're also gonna roast up some broccoli and just cut those into bite-sized florets. But broccoli has cancer-fighting properties. It's great for your heart health and it's just a great way to sneak in extra fiber which is gonna help to keep you regular. All right, let's add the sweet potatoes and beets to the baking sheet. Drizzle it with one tablespoon of avocado oil. Sprinkle it with some sea salt and pepper. Now this is optional, but I'm also gonna add in some garlic powder and cumin for extra seasoning. And just toss those together until they're fully coated with the oil and seasonings. Make sure you spread them out evenly. And now let's bake them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 to 35 minutes or until they're tender. And we're gonna do the same with the broccoli. Add one tablespoon of oil along with the seasonings. Toss them around, make sure they're fully coated with the oil. And I like to roast these on a separate baking sheet because they usually cook faster. So let's bake these for around 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, while those are baking, let's go ahead and prep the chicken. You're gonna need one and a half chicken breast and just season those to your liking. I'm adding some garlic powder, paprika, poultry seasoning, black pepper, and sea salt. Rub those seasonings all over the chicken breast and I'm going to pressure cook mine to speed things up but you can also bake them. So in my Ninja Foodi, I'm adding one cup of chicken broth along with the chicken breast, and we're just gonna pressure cook them on high for 15 minutes. And make sure the valve is set to the sealed position. And while that's cooking, let's get the cauliflower rice started. You're gonna need eight cups of frozen riced cauliflower. Of course, you can also rice your own cauliflower with a food processor, but I'm gonna use the frozen kind just to speed things up. So in a large skillet over medium heat, add the cauliflower rice and just continue to saute that for about 10 minutes, making sure you stir it every couple of minutes because you don't want it to burn. But the main thing is you just wanna make sure that most of the liquid evaporates so it's not so moist. Now you can use just cauliflower rice as the base to these power bowls, but I'm also gonna add in some quinoa to the mix. This will make it a little bit more filling and hearty, and it's also gonna provide a little bit more fiber and protein. So in a saucepan, add in one third cup of dried quinoa along with two two thirds of a cup of water. Bring that to a boil, cover it with a lid, and then reduce the heat to low medium. And just let that cook for about 12 minutes. And once that's done, I'm gonna add it to the cauliflower rice and just give it a good mix to bring it all together. And like I said, if you wanna cut the calories even more on this week's meal prep, just leave the quinoa out altogether. All right, let's season this up with some sea salt and pepper. I'm also gonna add in some chopped parsley. And like I said, with these Power Bowl recipes, it's all about creating it in layers. So you wanna make sure that you season 
each layer really well so that way when you go to mix it up to eat it all those flavors are going to come together perfectly going back to the vegetables once those are done remove them from the oven and let them cool before we add them to the meal prep containers and once the chicken's done you'll want to do a quick release on the pressure cooker and then shred that up with a fork by the way if you're not a fan of chicken you can substitute it in this recipe with ground turkey okay so the last thing we need to do before assembling our meal prep containers is make the vinaigrette dressing so in a bowl add in one third cup of extra virgin olive oil one fourth cup of balsamic vinegar two teaspoons of dijon mustard one to two minced garlic cloves half a teaspoon of sea salt and a pinch of black pepper whisk that all up until it's fully combined and we can go ahead and transfer the dressing into our sauce cups this dressing does make five servings so just roughly pour about the same amount into each sauce cup and now it's time to assemble our meal prep containers i'm adding the cauliflower quinoa mixture first and by the way i do prefer using the meal prep containers without dividers for these power bowls because you're eventually going to mix everything up anyway whenever you're ready to eat it but i had to save those for the dinner soup so i will say if you have the containers without dividers use those for this recipe next let's layer it with the roasted sweet potatoes and beets along with the shredded chicken as well as the roasted broccoli and i'm also going to add a small handful of mixed greens just to sneak in some extra fiber and minerals and lastly i'm going to add three kalamata olives to each container for some healthy fats and lunch meal prep is done and i will say these power balls are a little more time consuming to make but i promise you they are so worth it because they're so good for you and they're just loaded with so many nutritious foods and they're the perfect balance of healthy fats proteins and carbs and don't forget whenever you're ready to eat it add the dressing first and then toss all the ingredients together i'm so excited for y'all to try the dinner recipe on this week's meal prep it's my loaded grain-free hamburger soup and it is so comforting and full of flavor so first we're going to chop up one yellow onion and then in a large soup pot over medium heat, add in one tablespoon of avocado or coconut oil along with the chopped onion and just saute that until the onions are slightly soft and translucent. Once those onions are done, add in three minced garlic cloves and continue to saute that for another one to two minutes. And now let's add in one pound of 85% lean ground beef and half a pound of 93% lean ground turkey. Adding in the ground turkey with the beef is an easy way to sneak in extra protein without as many calories. All right, continue to cook that until the meat is browned and fully cooked through. And while that's cooking, let's go ahead and chop up the rest of our veggies, starting with some celery. I'm chopping up three stalks, which ended up being about a cup and a half worth. Let's also chop up three carrots and feel free to chop them as thin or as chunky as you'd like. And this ended up being about a cup and a half worth as well. Next, I'm chopping up some fresh green beans and I like to keep them around two inches, but you're gonna need one cup of these. And lastly, let's chop the potatoes. I'm using Yukon Gold potatoes and just chopping them into about one inch cubes. Now, if you wanna keep this soup 100 percent paleo friendly you can just swap out the potatoes for sweet potatoes but the potatoes are really going to make this soup extra hearty and comforting all right going back to the soup once the meat is fully done add in two tablespoons of tomato paste mix that into the meat mixture and then add in 28 ounces of diced tomatoes and i personally prefer the fire roasted tomatoes with this soup recipe i feel like it takes the flavor to the next level but of course you can use regular diced tomatoes as well all right once that's fully mixed in let's add in our veggies starting with the chopped celery chopped carrots potatoes and the green beans let's add in 32 ounces of beef broth and just give that a good mix until everything's fully combined and for the seasonings i'm adding two tablespoons of salt-free italian seasoning half a teaspoon of onion powder one teaspoon of sea salt half a teaspoon of black pepper and i didn't realize the camera stopped rolling right here but i also added in one teaspoon of paprika half a teaspoon of cumin and half a teaspoon of garlic powder but of course all these seasonings will be listed on the recipe card over on the blog post let's give that a good mix and now i'm going to top it off with two bay leaves turn the heat to high and bring the soup to a light boil then reduce Reduce the heat to low medium, cover it with a lid, and let that simmer for about 30 minutes. And while that's simmering, let's quickly prep our healthy snack for the week, which is going to be these frozen yogurt dipped blueberries. Now I'm going to keep it dairy free today and use this plain cashew milk yogurt, but feel free to use the plain non-fat Greek yogurt if you want to sneak in some extra protein. I have listed the macros for both options over on the blog post, but these are so easy to make. You're just going to take a toothpick and pierce any part of the blueberry, dip it 
it in the yogurt. Make sure you twirl it around really good so it has a thick coating and then transfer it to a lined baking sheet. And just repeat this process until all of the blueberries are gone. I'm using two and a half cups of blueberries and one and a half cups of yogurt. Now, if you find that the plain yogurts just aren't sweet enough for you, feel free to mix in your favorite sweetener like raw honey, maple syrup, or even a low carb sweetener. And by the way, you can also turn this into a blueberry bark if you just don't have enough time or patience to dip each blueberry. It's going to be delicious that way as well. All right, let's freeze these until the yogurt has hardened, which takes about one to two hours. And going back to the soup, go ahead and check the vegetables to make sure they're tender enough for your liking. If they're not, you can simmer the soup for about five or ten more minutes. And you can also check the seasoning right now to see if you want to add more. But once the soup is done, let it cool off for a little bit, and then you can go ahead and assemble your meal prep containers. This soup does make five servings so I just sort of eyeball it and add roughly equal amounts to each container and when you're ready to serve it you can add some fresh chopped parsley on top and then I'm also going to add one fourth of an avocado to sneak in some extra fats of course always wait to add the avocado when you're ready to serve it and this is optional you don't have to add the toppings I've listed the macros for this soup recipe with and without the avocado over on the blog post but dinner meal prep is done and I can't wait to hear your feedback on this soup recipe all right, once the blueberries are done, I like to go ahead and pre-portion them out into these freezer-friendly glass containers. I love these because they're stackable and easy to just grab and go. But y'all, I am done meal prepping for the week. Now it's your turn. But I've got breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks prepped and ready to go. I can't tell you how much meal prepping has really changed the game for me these past couple of years. It makes it so much easier to stick to my healthy eating routine, even on my super busy work days. Well, all right, y'all. That is it for today video another healthy five-day meal prep menu I can't wait to hear y'all's feedback on this one don't forget you can download the full menu and calculate your macros over on the dedicated blog post and also don't forget about the free downloadable grocery shopping list I'm gonna have those links listed for y'all in the description box below and if you give this healthy meal prep a try don't forget you can tag me in your recipe photos over on Instagram and I will reshare that on my stories I love seeing y'all recreate my recipes and hearing your feedback on how the menu worked for you. Um, but anyway, if you want me to keep making these healthy five-day meal preps and you enjoy this, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button below if you enjoy this sort of content. But that's it for today. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!